What's up guys, Sinistalker here again for a video that's up here. It's kind of like a random little you know, vlog of just like what I'm gonna be up to today. It's like really in a, you know, set place what I'm do doing or destination, kind of just going with the flow and vlogging whatever the heck I run into. So let's do it up like this. Kind of feel like picking up the camera and just do doing some random recordings because it's kind of fun doing it like that, you know what I mean? And also toward the end of this video, I got a little stack of some reviews up here from Mill Creek Entertainment, so check out for that. Toward the end of this video, nice little stack of some goodness right there. And I want to thank you guys all again for subscribing to my channel. I'm almost at 13,000. I think I'm like like around 20 away or so, maybe like less than 20 or around 20. So hopefully I'll get that in the next day or two by the weekend. That'd be really, really cool right there. And uh, also, if you guys aren't subscribed, uh, subscribe, please subscribe. And now let's get the video going and just uh, go from there. Let's do it right now. All right, first stop of the day, gonna hit up the miniature Target right by my area and here in South Park. Gonna get a couple household things, stupid stuff, but I gotta get that. My little uh, basket up there. We're like about this Target. Well, actually, what what lags about this is that um, that this uh, Target right up here, they don't have movies. It's like a small little miniature Target, which is kind of neat. They have video games and things like that, but they don't have movies though. Cause I don't think they do. See, they get like games and stuff, but there's like no. No, like movie area it's just like basic stuff which is which is cool and it's like literally like two blocks from from where i live at and then um but it's just like your basic kind of thing so let's do it up like that got a couple things in here hopefully they have what i need i gotta get some of these so i continue to smell good you know gotta keep it good gotta get that toothpaste too yeah this stuff's actually actually pretty good so i'm gonna, I'm gonna i'll get this i haven't got for a while but remember, it was okay I need to get any one of these too so you got that cool old school van. It looks like a TMMT van right there. But yeah, just left Target, got my goodies, and such a nice day out here in San Diego. Definitely a really nice, perfect day. I think it's like 75 degrees. Got all the San Diego weather. I love my area. This is like, you know, South Park where I'm driving through. I love my cool neighborhood. A lot of neat little shops and things like that. Now it's gonna go up here and see what we can see. over here in North Park. I'm gonna check out this neat little camera store which is right over here. It's that one right there. I haven't been there in a while. I've been there I think once before like over a year ago so I'm looking for like different like camera lighting and like a gimbal to hold like the camera you know so like, I guess I can hold it like this. Just kind of see what's in there for like you know for video wise and that kind of stuff you know what I mean that kind of deal. But yeah it's pretty neat. All this stuff's like closed up to all the bars and what's going on that kind of stuff. But kind of just checking it out, seeing how it looks, you know, and check, 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 check out the area real quick and then going somewhere else after this. All right, so just left that camera shop right there. I wasn't recording inside, but I couldn't really get video because I had to get escorted by one of the workers. And I was just, I was looking at like, like a gimbal and some lighting just to see what the prices were. A little pricey, but not, not bad. Like, I think it was like 129 for some lighting, like a nice big ring light. And then the gimbal was like up to 100 bucks. So I'm, I'm gonna kind of price them out and stuff and just to see. Sometimes they're, more, sometimes they're a little more pricier when you go to a camera shop because like the prices go a little bit more pricey. So let's get some ideas. Now off to um, somewhere else that I mean, look at my hair. The hair's growing back because all the salons are closed up. So I definitely need a haircut, but we really can't get one right now. So at least the one I normally go to, they're closed right now. So the hair will kind of grow out, but it's okay, it's okay. It's my long hair sexy look. I don't know. But anyway, let's go off to the next spot. All right, I was about to go to Bargain. I just check out my man Renee and his store because I've been there in a while. But like a dummy, me, I didn't know they're closed today. They're they're closed um, Tuesdays and I think Wednesday or something. I think, yeah, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. And they're open from Thursday through Monday from 11 to 7. So I totally didn't know that. And I was like, oh, crap. You know what I mean? I did not even realize that's what it was so oh well <laughs> always next time you know i'll check out i'll go there next time and uh see what they have in there and stuff like that but yeah kind of a bummer oh well next stop uh, we'll go somewhere else then all right so next spot let's go to the place next door humble heart i'll check it out in there been there for a while too look at the last time i went over there was that bar was when i went to bargainers one time so i'll check it out in there because this is a big thrift store place but i think everything else is like closed so I'm trying to make the most of it and i'll go to the one Right up here the next time, I'll go in the Taza. Bargain Hunters is open and uh, go in there and do a whole little video, see what they have, and uh, hang out with Renee and see what's in the back. Let's go here first, though. All right, so I found the movie area. So I'm just gonna look through here. There's like a bunch of tapes, like a bunch of VHSs, and like some like DVDs, these little slip case DVDs, and that kind of thing right up here. I think, other than that, I think I might have pretty much all the stuff is back here. It used to be up front before, but not anymore. I'll come through here and I'll see what they have available. Maybe find a cool 
horror thing or a weird action flick or something like that. Good old Young Adventures of Indiana Jones. The, the Adventures of Young Indiana Jones, I might say. But let's see what else is uh, going on through here. What's this? Saturn III. Sounds familiar. Looks kind of cool. I don't know if I'll get that or not, but Kurt Douglas in it. That, that's kind of a cool, odd one. I'm going to kind of thumb through here and um, you know, see what's here. Nothing too major in here. Just kind of looking around at Death Wish. Just stuff I've, you know, have or, you know, already, you know, own or don't really need, you know. Just never know what they might have, though. But so far, nothing too much. Um, just kind of like your basic kind of stuff, it looks like, so far. So, it's okay. Anyway, off to the next spot. I see something else here, but off to the, the next spot. Next spot, I did hit up this uh, taco shop right here. Ah. Heel. I've been there like once before and I have like, from, from I remember that, pretty good sized rolled tacos. So, a little snack. I didn't have much for breakfast today, so I'm gonna get this. I'll show you guys what it looks like and hopefully it's from I remember. I remember they're pretty good sized rolled tacos. So, let's go do that. All right, I just ordered my food. Uh, four rolled tacos with everything on it and a bottle of water. Like eight bucks. But they're pretty good sized rolled tacos from I remember. It seems like you can't eat inside here. So, it's like some, just like some tables outside where I'll eat at. But I am the only one in here right now. It's very uh, like deserted and that kind of thing. And they got this my bottle of water right up there. I got it with my order. But yeah, it should be pretty good. You know, should be pretty good. I got my spot out here, a little table place, and I'm like the only one here. Let's go open this up and see if it's as big as I remember. I remember I got these like, oh, like a year ago. And there we have a pretty good size. They had to hook it up. So some beef roll tacos and pretty good size. Got my hot sauces right up there green and red can't go wrong with that so let's dig in here i got everything on it like sour cream i think guacamole lettuce all that stuff's on there so let's go do it up let's pour a little of this red hot sauce right over there and try it out digging in right now let's go do it let's see how this is boop 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 oh man stuff is falling off stuff is falling off let's go Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. That's good. A little lettuce right there. Mm hmm. Look at that. Let's try with the green now. Let's see how that is. We're as big as I thought. Maybe, maybe you know what? I might, I might have got like flautas before, which are like bigger. I might have got those before. These are still good, but I think I might have got the flautas before. Flautas. Mmm. Green hot sauce. Mmm, that's pretty good too. Yeah, overall. Not bad. Alright, so I left that taco shop place. It was just, was okay. It wasn't uh, special roll tacos. I thought they'd be bigger. I must have got the flautas last time. Got the wrong one. So for, for what I paid for and what I got, really wasn't worth it. I had way better before. It just was like your basic roll taco. But it still, you know, it was okay for a little lunch kind of thing you know anyway i'm gonna hit up right now i'm over at book off i'm gonna go in there and check it out hopefully i find something cool before my man fluffy gamer he always finds a good the good out of print so maybe maybe i'll beat him to the punch this time not a couple in there if not it's okay too but i'm gonna try right, here we go i parked right in the front let's go check out book off and uh hopefully find some good stuff up in there at least because i've hardly ever do i try i've been here for a little bit maybe um <laughs> couple of months or so something like that let's go see what they got oh here we go by the blu-ray section see what i can see so far just you know came here like a minute ago so i'm gonna look around and see what i can find and whatnot <clears throat> that kind of thing no living dead blu-ray 50th anniversary edition it's not the twilight time one it was like a twilight time one or that oh that, that was the savini one but let's kind of look around here and maybe find something here you go. Good old choppy mall. 26 bucks. I think this, I think this thing's been here for a while. A little bit pricey for that, those Vestron ones. Not bad, but it's still not paid that much for it. You get this one from Scream Factory, class of 1984. Pretty neat movie right there. See, I've seen that in a long time. That's a pretty cool cover though. But maybe I'll get that, I don't know. That's 1991. It's going for a lot more, three bucks. Huh. Kind of cool, you got them both right there, though. 
and kind of thumbing through and see what they get. But I wish, yeah, it was like kind of like a little pricey, like like 12 bucks. Yeah, I totally get them. 25, 30. I'm like, eh, I'm okay on that for right now. Look at this one. Look at the classic Ben. I think it's like made for TV or something with, you know, the, with, you know, the sequel to Willard. Or was it cool? And it's not bad. Price point, 13 bucks, you know, or so from a Scream Shout Factory line. Kind of trying to get the song Ben by Michael Jackson sings it. Maybe I'll get this. I'm going to think about it. Not bad. They're pretty cool cover art, too. And then up here, another good one. Where's that? Oh, yeah, right here. Classic body parts, but why is it 26 bucks? Dang it, why can't that be like $15 or something? I'm gonna pay, I think it's, that's more than what it costs brand new. Great movie though, love this movie with uh, Brad Dourif and the dude from Lawnmower Man. But I think it's like these body parts on from like different serial, like serial killer guy. And then, that's a pretty fun one too, The Brain, 30 bucks, holy crap. That's a pretty good one too, kind of a weird 80s one. Then like down here, another good one, but the price is like not that great. Damn you, book off, for making the prices and the ones I want a little bit higher than I want to pay for. The Exterminator, you have a great, weird, like revenge kind of movie from like, I think 1980, Grady One, Robert G Ginty in it. Really good one. Definitely uh, highly recommend this if you haven't seen it. Get The Exterminator, have it on tape. I would like it on Blu-ray, but I don't play it for like paying 23 bucks for it. I can get it new for like 10 bucks less than that. But yeah, pretty good movie though. All right, just left book off. As you can see, I got absolutely nothing in there. I wanted to get a couple of things, but the price point was not good. They were kind of like a little bit overvalued with some of the items. There was some pretty cool stuff there to get, but I didn't feel like paying like way over the price for them. Like, eh, I'm okay. I don't need it that much. I'm back home right now. I was trying some other stuff, but it's like weird because I, you know, it sucks with that with everything that's going on now. A lot of things are not open, of course. It's kind of like limited what to do and what to see. But anyway, back home. And I'll do some movie reviews right now, and I'll be right back with you after you guys watch the reviews. All right, first off, I'm gonna start off with this really cool series based on the movie 12 Monkeys. I both have the Blu-ray, and I got the DVD set up here, uh, provided by both by Mill Creek Entertainment of the sci-fi series show 12 Monkeys, the complete series up here. Pretty cool show, kind of based on like time travel and the future, and if you go in the past, you can change the future. And it's kind of neat, like, Pretty dang good show because I heard about it and I'd never seen it before until I got this and I, I definitely enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really cool. So I get the packaging from the DVD version up here, which I'll show right now how it looks. And these ones, the DVD ones, are just these little, like, kind of like, you know, uh, cheap little cardboard slip cases. So they're just all right. Not the best, but the Blu ray one, on the other hand, is a nice case up over here. Um, they look cool out like that. And you get the Blu rays in this nice. Um, you know, like less scratch resistant in a sense, you know, case, which is good. They're all a lot better. So if I'm going to go for this set, I would say I would recommend getting the Blu-ray uh, version of it up over here. Because you get all the case, all the discs are in nice, nice, you know, separate cases for themselves up here. So a really cool show and things like that. Definitely enjoy. I feel like, like you know, sci-fi shows want to take a chance in a show to watch during these, these times. This is definitely a good one to check out. All right, next up here, a couple of fun ones from Andy Sidaris. So you know what you get into when you get the director, Andy Sidaris. These are just like some fun action movies. You got The Return to Savage Beach is a sequel to Savage Beach. The big guns are back, as you can see. And this one, Day of the Warrior. Both of these I've, I've never seen before until I get these reviewed. Both fun. It's a campy, cheesy, over-the-top action flicks with, with girls with big boobs shooting guns, killing people, weird plots. This one right here has uh, WCW wrestler Buff Bagwell. Um, that's him right there. I didn't even know he was in this uh, movie until I see this. He plays like this like, wrestler sort of guy, superhuman guy that um, kills people. And there's like weird plot twists where... Um, they do like this, they're doing pornography and it's just like this trippy, weird thing in this story right here. There's Buff Bagwell right over there. Um, fun cheese, this one's cool. Get a nice introduction by Andy Sidaris and audio commentary behind the scenes featurettes. Like these ones, they do a really good job on these low budget ones of doing like behind the scenes footage and things like that. This one up here, that's a fun one. They go to Savage Beach and then all stuff goes awry and the plot is like, doesn't really matter. Just, they're just fun over-the-top movies 
uh, these ones are. So if you like low budget action flicks, it's something fun to watch, especially with friends over, have some beers. These flicks right here are perfect. The whole series, any, all the Andy Sedaris movies are great. I love the older ones a lot more, but these newer ones from like the 90s, like it's like 96 or 95, this is I think from like 97, 98. They're both still good, they got those 90s vibes in there. I love the older stuff more from the 80s and early 90s, but these are still fun with the same vibes and just, you know, said cheesy, great acting and just fun action cheese is this. Definitely good ones to check out. If you like stuff like that, these are winners right here. Here's the last but not least from Mill Creek for all you documentary peoples out there. This one right here is a great documentary series of Vietnam, the stories of Vietnam. Uh, good stuff, you're a historian buff. Nice documentaries of Vietnam and the war it was and the heroes of that time and how the war was and things like that. Definitely a good one up here if you like that kind of thing. If you guys enjoy my movie reviews, I link down below if you want to get those titles at and more. Boom, right there. And yeah, there you go. Pretty much, I guess, does it for this video. I already put my stuff away that I got, you know, earlier, that kind of thing. And what now? I got my little creature in a black lagoon thing right up there. I think already sold out too. And I guess what I read up on, this is based on an actual like uh, uh, aquarium fish toy thing by this thing called Pen Pixel or something like that. And it was actually the original one made I think in the '60s or something like that. It goes like several hundred dollars. It's like a remake of it, but it looks really cool. I guess you know, like I kind of looks. This one already sold out from Super Seven, so definitely stoked to have that. And I put right below that, you know, right above it, I got. Of course, my classic crystal Pepsi's and the weird bent bottles. Maybe, maybe sometime I'll do a video where I will drink one of these. I got this thing expired about four, a little over four years ago. So maybe there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of fizz up in there. See, maybe I'll drink one of these for the heck of it, for old time's sake. Next, my cool Bullwinkle's vitamin soap pop strawberry, which I know it's weird. These are these cans. I've I never see these cans anywhere on eBay or anything like that. I got these from the Hoarder House when I went there with Renee and I drank one of them. Uh, from, I think from like from 1993 or 91, even earlier, 91, 29, actually no, 93 too, yeah, see, 27 years old. Uh, these are now, I never found anything, all, all there is is a commercial on YouTube about it, but no cans of any sort. But yeah, definitely stoked on those. And I gotta fill this thing up more. I need some like glasses more figurines and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I need to get the rest of the Killer Clown stuff. There's some random thoughts going through my head right there, but I think we'll fill this up more, that kind of thing as time goes on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate it so much. Almost at 13,000. And also real quick, I want to say a great congratulations to my man, Adam the Woo. He just hit 500,000 subscribers, I believe today or yesterday, it was like the other yesterday, but he just hit 500,000 subscribers. He's definitely well-deserved, awesome friend, great guy, great channel, half million subs, congratulations to the woo. And yeah, I just wanna put it out there like that. And you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll catch you later next time, I'll see you. Bye.